Hello, my name is Thomas and today I am going to show you how to do an App Store optimization update with the help of AppRadar. Let's check it out. So first of all, when entering AppRadar, what you can see over here, I created a fresh new account. So the first thing that I have to do, what AppRadar asks me to, is to add a new app. So I'm going to do this now. For this demo, I'm going to select an iOS App Store app. So first thing that we have to do is we have to connect our App Store Connect account. So I'm going in here and I am going to add my App Store Connect account. After connecting your account to AppRadar, what AppRadar does in the background is already checking out which apps are on your account so you can easily import them. In the meanwhile, I'm going to fill out my information over here. and click Save. Perfect, AppRadar already tells me that my apps have been connected. So I'm going to select an app now. And what I can see over here, I have this one app connected on my account, the Dribble King game that we're going to use for this showcase example. So I'm going to select it. AppRadar now asks me what is the main localization, what is the main country that I want to optimize for, and I'm going to choose United States. No worries, you can also add different localizations later. Now that we selected our app, AppRadar in the background is setting up our account. So this means AppRadar is now checking for which keywords is this app ranking, it is trying to identify competitors, it is gathering keyword suggestions and it is also already calculating the optimization potential so that we get a better understanding of how well or how much can we optimize our app. After the project has been created, you will be directed to the keyword tracking. In the keyword tracking view, we see the different keywords that AppRadar now automatically suggested that might be of interest for this app. And we also see uh, our rankings. And as we can see here as well, there was already a ranking change on our main keyword, Dribble King. Okay, so as you can see over here, we are currently only ranking for one keyword that we are tracking. This means we have to build up our keyword backlog and also try to figure out for which other keywords we are ranking within the App Store. Luckily, AppRadar provides us a feature that helps us exactly doing that. Within the Keywords tab, there is Rankings and what we can see on this screen are the different keywords now within the United States that this app is being found for. So as we can see, let's scroll down a little bit. Here we see the keyword, for example, let's go for game triple uh, and we're ranking on position number 96 for this keyword. Let's scroll up a little bit and then we see here the keyword tip tap soccer, which also has actually a quite well popularity of 20. Popularity is a value that is between 0 and 100 and gives you information how many people are actually searching for this keyword. In other words, the higher this value, the higher the number, the better. In this case, we're going to track this keyword and add it to our daily tracking over here. Let's check out some other keywords that might be of interest for us. Let's check this one. Let's check this one. And let's also check this one. When it comes to the topic App Store optimization, one of the things that is super important is really this understanding of the value of popularity. As we can see in this case, we are ranking on a decent amount of keywords within the App Store. But the issue is that most of those keywords only have a popularity value of 5, which in other words means that we are not getting much traffic for these keywords and it is also part of the job for us as App Store optimization managers to find keywords that have a higher popularity and for which we can also rank for in a really good position. So now it is up to us to find keywords that might be of relevance for us. How can we do that? First of all, we can use the auto-suggest feature. The feature is quite powerful but very simple to use. What we have to do is we just simply enter one keyword over here. Let's go for soccer in this case. And what we see is suggestions that are coming directly from the App Store with keyword combinations. As we can also see over here that the popularity of these keywords is already quite high. So I'm going to add some of them to our daily tracking. Next up, 
we can also check out the tab AI recommendations. So what we can see over here on AI recommendations are now individual suggestions from our AI for, of keywords that might be of relevance for your app. Like every AI, also our AI needs to be trained. So therefore you can see that you can reject or you can also track the keywords that you are getting as a suggestion. So let's say for example basket doesn't make super much sense because it is a soccer game. So let's reject this. Rumble may be the same. Basketball games may be the same. But Pro Evolution Soccer or PES might be of interest as well as play might be of interest. And as you can see, by doing so, you can really train the AI and get better recommendations over time. So another idea of how to find out keywords that we want to rank for is to check out what our competitors are doing. Luckily, with an app radar, you can also check out your competitors. As we can see over here, app radar automatically suggested different competitors. But we can also extend this list by searching for competitors that we have in our heads. So for example, in this case, I'm going to add FIFA Soccer as well as a competitor. As well as, let's go for Pro Evolution Soccer, which is already as a competitor. That's nice. Once we build up our competitor set over here, what we can do is we can compare ourselves and figure out how we are ranking against the competitors on the keywords that we are tracking within the keywords tracking. And as we can see over here, the field is quite mixed. When we sort this list by popularity, um, it's not a big surprise, but as mentioned, this app is really not getting much downloads. So in this case, it is quite clear that FIFA Soccer, for example, is outranking us on super popularity keywords. The way how we can now use this information, how we can get our benefits out of it, is by checking out the competitor rankings. What we can do over here is we can select the different competitors. So let's go for FIFA Soccer, for example, in this case, within the United States. And what we will now get from AppRadar is a list of the keywords that FIFA Soccer is ranking for within the App Store within the United States. We can now use this list and add keywords that might also be of relevance for us. As you can see over here, AppRadar is also tracking a lot of keywords with low popularity of 5. To not display those keywords, because we have already learned that there is not much traffic on those keywords, I'm going to click this hide unpopular keywords over here and now they are gone. This also makes the work uh, easier for me to really analyze the keywords. I can also use the filter over here and enter soccer for example and then get different keyword combinations with the keyword soccer. I'm going to select some of those keywords that make sense. Great! When I now go back to my keyword tracking I can see that the list has now been expanded by different keywords that are within this daily keyword tracking. I can also activate different keywords over here so that they are shown within the chart as a line. Perfect! So now we got a really good understanding of our current situation, of our current rankings within the App Store. As we can see in this case, we are ranking quite well on a keyword with a popularity of 20. But there are a lot of keywords with only a popularity of 5, which means it is low popularity, not many people are searching for it, uh, which also means now it is time for us to really optimize our store listing. The cool thing about AppRadar is that we integrated this functionality directly within AppRadar. So you don't have to use any spreadsheets or any other proprietary software, you can directly optimize your store listing within AppRadar. How do we do that? First of all, we click on optimization score. What we can now see over here is an optimization score. First of all, overall, and then also for our primary locale. As we can see, we only have 75 points of, out of 100, which means there is a lot of optimization potential left. As we can already see in this short preview over here, AppRadar automatically suggests what we should optimize. When I click on English United States, 
I'm now jumping directly into the localization. So as we can see over here, here I have the name, which is also currently live within the App Store. I can also see that for this case, for this app, I didn't add a subtitle yet, which is also super uh, highly recommended, because in the end, the App Store only knows the keywords that I enter over here within the name, within the subtitle, and within the keywords and combinations of these keywords all over. But in other words, keywords that I don't enter over here in any of those three fields, the App Store doesn't know that I want to rank for them. So therefore it is super important that you add relevant keywords over here and also that you check out to use all the characters that you have for the specific fields to bring in more relevant keywords. Okay. So now it is actually time to optimize our store listing. The first thing that we should do is add a subtitle. As we can see over here, we are ranking quite well on the keyword tip tap soccer, which with a popularity of 20 and we're ranking on a position number four. How does this happen? Let's check out our keyword fields. As we can see over here, we have tip, we have tap and we have soccer. And this is exactly the reason why we're ranking on position number four. One of the basics of App Store optimization is the higher a keyword is, the more importance it has to the search algorithm. In other words, this means if you put keywords within the name, they have the most relevance to the search algorithms compared with the keywords field, which has only less relevance to the search algorithm. The subtitle is in between. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to add those keywords because I want to rank on an even better position than position number four. But I know that Tip Tap Soccer is the name of one of our competitors, which also means that I'm not going to use exactly those words. So therefore, I will go for something like Tip and Tap, you are a soccer star. Okay, this doesn't work because we are over the keyword limit. So let's go for something like Tip and Tap, you as soccer star. It's not the most perfect one, I have to say, but uh, I think for coming up with it very spontaneously, it is actually quite okay. Next, let's check out the keyword field. As we can see over here, we have 48 characters left. In other words, this is really a lot of space for additional keywords that we can use to try to rank for. Where do we get those keywords from? Quite easily. By expanding the list over here, we now directly see the keywords that we are tracking and can also get information on which keywords we can add over here. So for example, we can add the keyword head. Then we can add evolution. We already have soccer in here. Let's check it out. We also have it here. That's fine. Let's go on. We can also add pro as a keyword. Do we have the keyword goal? Yes, we have the keyword goal in the title. What about kick? We don't have the keyword kick yet. And as you can see, this process continues with the idea of really using your characters that you have over here. At this point, I also have to say it is super important which keywords you are going to add over here. Because when the popularity for those keywords is high, you can also be sure that the competition for those keywords will be high. In this case, with this app, which is not getting too much downloads within the App Store, it will be very, very hard to compete on very popular and also on very competitive keywords. So therefore, it is very important that we try to build out uh, keyword combinations over here and try to rank for long tail keyword combinations. For example, like we have uh, in this case with Pro Evolution Soccer, which on the one hand is a brand, but as you can also see, it is a combination of three keywords. Let's add some additional keywords like Happy, Star and Stars. Once we have done this, we can click on Save. After we click on Save, it takes some time for AppRadar to refresh but once the refresh is done, we can already see that our localization score has increased to 83 points uh, from starting 75. So this is already good, but we get new optimization suggestions. Like in this case, remove duplicate keywords in the subtitle and in the keyword field. As we can also see down here, within the keyword field, those duplicate keywords are also highlighted. 
Why is this important? This is important because you don't have to enter the keywords double. You just have to enter them in the field with the highest importance for the search algorithm. So in other words, if you have a keyword within the name, there is no need that you also put it within the subtitle. Or in other words, if you have a keyword within the subtitle, there is no need that you put it in the keywords because you already have it in the subtitle. And AppRadar is helping you exactly finding this out. So let's remove the duplicate keywords and let's try to find some new keywords that might end up in a really good uh, keyword combination. So now that we have deleted our duplicate keywords, I also added some new keywords, click on save and let's check out and wait for the localization score to refresh. Now, as you can see, we are already on 88. So as you can see, we now made a lot of changes to our store listing. We added a subtitle, we added new keywords, we got rid of all the duplicate keywords, we already saved our progress over here in AppRadar and now it is time to push it to App Store Connect. Once the push to App Store Connect is finished, you can see that the button is now grayed out. In other words, we can now log into App Store Connect, select our latest build and push the update directly to the Apple review team and keep our fingers crossed that the update goes through the review process and is being live within the App Store within the next couple of days. Once the update is live, we can then check out within AppRadar, within the keyword tracking, how our rankings for our most important keywords changed and how our rankings for our keywords changed in general. We can also check out the keyword rankings afterwards and check out if we're ranking for new keywords that we have not been tracking yet. Not only that, with the help of the change log, it will also be possible to have a documentation of all our updates that we're doing which in other words comes very useful, especially in the beginning when we're pushing several updates to the App Store to figure out what is working and what is not. Last but not least, let's check out the reports because this is also super important for us and because we want to get an automated, in this case, email report where we get information on our keyword rankings on a daily basis, as well as we activated the featuring alert, which means that we will get an email from AppRadar when we are going to be featured within the App Store. I hope this video was useful to you and I could show you how you can use AppRadar to really optimize your App Store optimization process. See you the next time and don't forget, keep optimizing!